Do you struggle with understanding the gratuities on a cruise ship? I'm going to lay out some clear and concise numbers so you can understand the gratuities on board a cruise ship. If this is something you're interested in, then stay tuned because this video is for you. Hey fellow travelers, this is Norman Payne from Up, Up, Up and Away. Thank you for stopping into my channel and welcome back. This channel is about everything travel. I'm talking about travel hacks, travel tips, travel news, along with destination and cruise port videos. If you want to be a more informed traveler, then hit that subscribe button right now. Also, ring that notification bell so you'll know the next time I upload another video. So let's get into this whole, what is a gratuity and why do you have to pay it? Well, gratuities on a cruise ship is basically your tips to the staff. This means you don't have to carry any money while you're on a cruise ship. Who wants to carry a wad of money in your swim trunks while you're trying to lay out by the pool or, or you're going to a comedy show and you dressed up, but you, you don't want to carry a bunch of money so you can tip somebody when they bring you a drink? This is what the gratuities are for. The gratuities take care of all your tips while you're on board. So let's break it down. When you book a cruise, there are a few things that are added into the overall cost. So let's talk about the first one. It is called the cruise fare. The cruise fare is what you pay per person. Everybody has to pay a cruise fare. Secondly, there is port fees and expenses. Those fees, along with taxes, are added onto your cruise fare. That makes the number a little bit bigger. But everyone does not have to pay that. So if there's two people in your cabin, then you have to pay cruise fare and you have to pay the taxes, port fees, and expenses. But if it's only one, that person has to pay both cruise fares and not the taxes, port fees, and expenses for both people. They only pay that once. Your gratuities is asked for. It is not mandatory with a lot of cruise lines. Even though they say it is, it is not mandatory with some cruise lines. And I'm gonna break down which ones is mandatory and which one is not. I'm gonna go through what they call the, the myths of the gratuities. So one thing is, like I said, it's not mandatory. The second one is, this is divided up for your staff. I'm talking about your room attendant, the bartender that served your drink, your waiters and waitresses in the dining room, the people that pick up your leftover stuff after you walked away on the buffet and left it on the table. All of those things are included in the gratuities that the ship collects from you. Some cruise lines allow you to decrease or increase the amount of gratuities that you pay. Keep in mind, it is different for each cruise line. There are some cruise lines that add that gratuity to their total cruise fare, which means you have no real option or no negotiation. It is in the fare and that's it. So here is the outline for some of the cruise lines that I personally know about. So Carnival charges about $16 per day for each individual in a standard cabin. That is your interior, your ocean view, and your balconies. Those are considered your standard cabins. It is $18 per person per day for suites on a Carnival Cruise Line. All of those gratuities collected go amongst the crew. Anyone you see working, they divvy that up. If they had a hand in your experience, they divvy that money up to each individual attendant. MHC charge is a little different. They charge $16 a day per person for their standard rooms. That means any category room, it is $16 a day per person. Now, when you get to the Yacht Club, it is $20 a day. And this is for cruises that are going to the Caribbean, 
Canada, Bermuda, and New England. There is no charge for children under two. I wouldn't see why they would charge tips for anyone under two anyway. But that's the rule, no, no tips coming from someone under two. For cruises that are going to the Mediterranean, North Europe, and the Middle East, those cruises will be charged 12 euros per person per day. They will also charge tips for people between the age of two and 11. But if you're staying in the yacht club, then they will charge you 16 euros per day. Now the MSC cruise that goes to South Africa, they will charge $10 per day. That's for all classes. And the children between two and 11 will pay $5 a day. So that's how it's broke down with MSC. Norwegian will charge $25 for their Haven and Suites guests. Those guests will pay $25 per person per day. If you are staying in a standard cabin, it'll be $20 per person per day. This is for anybody three years old and up. The gratuities cannot be adjusted on board like you can with Carnival. You can go to guest services with Carnival and tell them that you want to adjust your gratuities. You have to literally go through the cruise, get off the ship and send them back a letter and tell them why you believe you should not pay your gratuities or even increase them. They still want this letter to say, hey, I want to increase my gratuities. Princess Cruise Lines, they charge $19 per day for their suites and $18 per day for their mini suites, their cabanas, and those type of cabins. It is $17 per day per person for any other category under that. Royal Caribbean gives you no choice. Your gratuities are not negotiable. They want those gratuities to spread around the ship to their attendants that's helping you out to have a great experience. And they're charging $18 per day per guest on their standard cabins. But when you get to their higher end, like their suites, it is 20 to $21 per day. They say on their website, that they are spreading that love around so that you have a great experience on their cruise ship. So Virgin Voyages is another one that includes the gratuity in their fare. You don't even know what it is. It is inside the fare. You don't have to worry about it. It is already taken care of when you pay your cruise off for Virgin Voyage. This is an example of all inclusive type of pricing. So there you have it. These are the cruise lines that I personally book for my clients. And this is what the structure is on these different cruise lines. If this information was helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know the type of service that you got after you've paid these gratuities on any of these cruise lines that I mentioned. If you go on different cruise lines, let me know what the gratuity structure is on those cruise lines as well. Leave it in my comments. Also, please share this with other cruisers that may be going and don't understand these gratuities that they have to pay or that they're asking to be paid. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel helps me grow. I need you to subscribe today. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll know the next time I upload another video. Well, that's all I have for you today. Until our paths cross again soon, I'll see you then. Peace. And please like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on all my social media. Just hashtag up, up, up Norman, where you will find my Facebook page, my Instagram account, my Twitter page, and my TikTok page.